Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, we're on the hunt for the ultimate budget pressure washing solution. So if you're like me, and you've been following this pressure washing craze that's going on on YouTube, all the detailers, YouTubers, uh, they've got their really fancy pressure washers, and the fancy guns and nozzles and all that stuff, and it's just really expensive. I mean, a lot of these guys are in their stuff thousands of dollars, and I simply just don't have the financial justification for that. Whether I had the money or not, I just can't justify it. If I can go to the car wash, you know, once a month for 10, 20 bucks, why would I spend thousands of dollars on this equipment? So in this video, I'm not just aiming at the Sun Joe. Uh, this is what I picked up, but I want to go through my thought process and theory and finding a budget solution. Hopefully help everyone out there understand my process. I, I have no clue. I just kind of jumped on this. I have no clue if this is going to work out or not. I've got some swivel adapters. Basically, these stock units leave something to be lacking. They all come with a 25 foot hose, um, which is not sufficient in length. They all come with a screw in hose and there's no swivel in it. So upgrading the swivel, they all come with a crappy gun. Um, so we've got an upgraded um, gun. Uh, little things that I, I'm trying to do on a budget, trying to keep this under 200 bucks, uh, all in, pressure washer included, and just have a nice setup. I love Matt Mormon and Obsessed Garage. I've been following his stuff for years, and I, I love the quality he does, and he talks about um, honoring the source. And I wanted to honor the source, honestly. Um, went on his website, picked up the Sun Joe, went on his website, put together a kit, and it was like 500 bucks just for the accessories, the hose, the swivels, the, the gun, all these things. I'm sure they're great stuff, but I just I have a hard time spending that much money. So, so here's my kit that I put together. We'll uh, put it together and see if I got the right stuff, the wrong stuff, and maybe help someone learn in the process. Um, this is kind of be an unboxing video. Again, it's not so much around the Sun Joe, but kind of what to look for and how to get the right stuff the first time. Okay, let's start small and work up from there. Here I've got this uh, quick adapter set. Um, ordered this, and we'll see what's inside here. This is for the M22 fittings, and it basically comes with this bag. I've heard that you can buy similar stuff at Home Depot. Um, I'm not sure or not, but this is what I ordered. I believe this was around $15, $16, and I'll go ahead and verify prices as well. Next, we've got this budget foam cannon. Again, made in China. Um, you know, I'm hoping some of the stuff is decent quality. It's not going to be professional grade or even prosumer. This kit came with nozzles and I think the rest of this is just the, the foam cannon. This is the Tool Daily foam cannon. Next up we've got the MB925 with the swivel end. Uh, the swivel end's a little bit more expensive. I want to say this was 40 bucks and the MV925 without the swivel was like 20 bucks. Purple Power um, this is not going to be what I would recommend for most people on a day-to-day -day use. Um, this is a degreaser. I use this on my mower if you want to check out that wash video. Uh, this stuff works amazing, but it does warn against paint, using on automotive paint. So I'm going to be using it on my work truck. I'm okay with that, but I'm probably not going to be using it on my 4Runner with a nice paint job. Here we've got the Sun Joe 25 foot hose. Um, and I'm curious to see whether this is the same hose that comes with this pressure washer. So this pressure washer is the SPX 4000 Pro, which supposedly has an upgraded hose. They want you to register, which I think is just a great way for companies to get your contact information and blow you up. It's a pretty small hose. Can't imagine there's a ton of flow through that. Into the big boy. By the way, for everyone that thinks this has 2000 PSI, that's the max PSI, and I don't think it ever really reaches that. So that's kind of just a, a crazy bogus number for marketing purposes. Sun Joe high pressure hose, max 200 bar, 140 degrees. So I think this is exactly the same hose. I will say when I grabbed this box, it was heavier than I expected. Um, you know, this isn't entirely quality. This is kind of goofed up right there. Um, this whole handle is kind of wonky, um, but it, it, it does feel pretty beefy. Here's their cheesy gun, which is actually, this feels lighter than this tiny thing. So um, I'm kind of glad I upgraded that. It does come with a little 
extension. So I'll tell you about the price I got on this. I picked up the Sunjo, hugely discounted on sale. I want to say it's regularly like $149.99 or $189.99, something like that. I picked it up for $99.99 on Amazon. And I think there's a lot of deals like that, whether it's a Ryobi or the Sunjo. There's a ton of information out there. Obsessed Garage went through and tested all of these and basically discovered that they're all identical. They're all the same. As long as you know what size of fittings they have, you can upgrade them. And that's kind of my concept, my idea. If I can go buy a cheap one, whether it's the $99 one or a standalone unit that's, um, the, I think Railway has like a regularly priced $99 one, um, you should be able to make it work. Um, so like I said, we'll continue to put this together and make sure I got all the right parts. And if I have to go buy more, I will. Um, but I really want to put together this kit for, for inexpensive. For my own purposes as well as sharing it with everyone else, I paid for all this. This is none of this is endorsed or anything like that. I paid for all this stuff, and I'm kind of just doing a full review and, and learning as I'm going. Um, yes, I've consumed a lot of this information on YouTube, but I I haven't really written it down or taken notes, and, and I haven't bought strategically like I maybe should have. Which I think is the same boat that a lot of people are in. A lot of people watch it and want to have it, but they haven't really taken notes because there's so much information. There's just too much information available. So hopefully I can condense this all down in one short video and share uh, my process. Okay, Sunjo manual. We've got uh, four bolts and a nut in here. Another uh, warranty thing. We've got a bracket and some fittings. Quick start guide. Number one, connect the high pressure hose. Number two, connect the garden hose. One over three, plug in. Number four, water on. Number five, depressurize. And then number six, start. Okay, right now I don't really care about putting the handles on. I just want to make sure my hose fitting's right and everything's going to work out there. So this is kind of weird fitting right here. So we can screw that in. I personally don't use quick disconnects on my hoses. So I don't think that that, it's not like I'm going to have a quick connect on my hose at all times anyways and, and want to easily snap this on. But it would be nice to have that on there. Um, but if I had to, I could always just thread this on. Not that big of a deal on that side of things. The hose must be connected and water turned on before operating your unit. Failure to do so will damage the pump and void your warranty. Total stop system. The motor will shut off and remain in standby mode during periods of inactivity or as soon as the unit is pressurized. This is normally simply squeeze the trigger to restart. So I think that's one thing a lot of guys were looking for is the total start system. So we'll see if this is a true total start or a total stop system or, or not. That's kind of what the higher end units are, are paying for. You can see here how this seals. So th this shaft doesn't fit in there. Interesting. So. I think these have an ever so slightly different inner diameter. So the the males on this these hoses is wider than this, which doesn't make sense. You think these would be a universal component? Ah, oh, it's aggravating. Oh, uh, nothing's working. Like seriously, like nothing is going to plan. I mean, completely different sizes. This thing has tiny, this thing is massive. Output, completely different system yet again. It's interesting, it holds it down. That's kind of nice. I wonder if these guys are gonna fit. Well, that's the first successful component to go together. We're not doing so great, but that's, that's progress. And that progress should mean that the uh, foam cannon should hook on as well. Yay, now we've got all our nozzle tips, which looks like we've already got the same here. So basically I paid for the upgraded kit for the nozzles with this, and I only need to do this anyways. Lesson learned. Okay, we're back to the workbench. And... Unfortunately, we're still dealing with this pressure washer fiasco. Turned out much worse than I expected. Ordered more parts than I wanted to on Amazon. Now we're just really on the hunt for the right stuff. 
So I'll have to tell you what a still of a deal I got on this thing. I'm talking with my head cut off here. 